But you've been coming to London a lot. Oh, like... yeah, yeah, for, for a long time. I mean, we came with the show once. Uh, yeah. Friends shot here once. Uh, I directed a movie here, uh, Run, Fat Boy, Run, with Simon <gasps> Pegg. And... You, you used, directed that? You used one of my songs in that. Did I? Yeah, Every Day I Love It Less and Less, it's called. <gasps> in a fight scene. That's right, of uh, course. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your song made that scene. I know it did. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I've done that. I did a play in the West End here. I, I love London. It's, I feel like it's a second home. Do you check out British TV as well? Well, yeah. I mean, I've, yeah. but my taste ranges from like the Great British Bake Off to Luther. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, I'm, I'm, then I was ordering some food to my room the other night, and there was a show where a guy was on a, wait. three dates with three women cooking for him. <laughs> <laughs> Trash, put it in the bin. Not only that. Well, that's the other thing. I thought, wait a minute. I, I thought, like, I'm, I'm what? I just turned on the TV and I'm watching what looks like home video footage. Of, yes, it's yes. really badly um, shot. And, and it's and, people with the least personality in the world. Well, what I'm looking for is someone who can also have a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> But you see the one program, this is the most elite program, yeah? Homes Under the Hammer, you know about this? Yeah. Let me tell you, let me tell you about this program, David. So basically, Homes Under the Hammer, yeah? Houses are cheap, they're not cheap cheap, but they're not London prices, basically, what I'm saying, yeah? <laughs> then they're out auction, right? So they show everyone at the auctions, you can get a house, £4.50. <laughs> so, but now the house, excuse my language, is a shithole, isn't it? It's, it's a shithole. <laughs> this is the best bit about the program, right? So they'll say something like, oh, you see here, you know, you've got to get some decking done, but the ceiling, the ceiling needs to be done. Now, whoever does the sound and editing on this program, <laughs> they will always find the song for the last word that just been said. <laughs> <laughs> it is elite level TV. That really reminds me of one of my favourite programmes, which is Inside the Factory. The one with Greg Wallace, and he does things like explain potato waffles and stuff like that. And he's always inside a factory, wearing a hairnet, but he don't have no hair. <laughs> and he's always like, so you're telling me that, like, every single day, 200 million thousand potato waffles come through? <laughs> These factories <laughs> right here. Yeah, do, yeah. and, and then whoever does the sound is just clearly some millennial because like they'll show all the potato waffles going along the conveyor belt and be like, wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. <laughs> I love it. But Ashleen, on your downtime, you're a big fan of Love Island as well. Yes, uh, and an Irish person half won it this year with Amber, which mm -hmm. I was so excited about. And then there was also uh, Queen of Ireland, Maura, on it, yeah. which... Oh my God, like every time I watch her, my vagina is throbbing. Yeah. <laughs> Maura. So I've been here for like 12 years, trying to make sure people don't think Irish people don't pronounce their THs. And Maura just walks into that villa that time, and she never pronounced a single TH the whole time she was in there. <laughs> throbbing, that this there, when, what, it just, I've never seen anything like it, it was amazing. Have you, seen, have you seen Love Island? I haven't. This is elite level TV. Cos what happens, yeah, you get some guys that, that, like, cos guys will watch it, and you get these weird guys that, oh, what, what, so what, so what, bruv? You watch Love Island, yeah? <laughs> oh, my days, bruv, like, you're a loser. Shut <laughs> up, you prick, man. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's actually good TV. It, it's brilliant yeah. TV, cos it's kind of anthropology. It's watching how we all work and how we get together, and you're like, oh, that could be me, or that mm -hmm. one could be me. It's basically like musical chairs, but instead of trying to sit on different chairs, it's penises. <laughs> um, <laughs> When it first starts, mm -hmm. you, everyone goes in and you see the clips of people and you go, oh, he's such a prick. Yeah. And then at the end, he's leaving, and I'm crying as he's leaving. <laughs> Anton, I'm thinking about, right, specifically, and he's crying. I'm like, good oh, God. Like you. <laughs> they've got this thing, right? So what's happening, when they're all in the villa, they've got a couple up, right? Sorry, just to clarify, they go in and they're, they're meant... They, they're, you find love on it. They're night. trying no, no, to mate with each other. Love or yes. they, they're yeah. supposed to have sex with each other. Yeah. Well, it's better when they some do. of them do. Some of them have sex, right? Okay. So as they go, but you through... don't see that. All you see is this. Yeah. Oh, Tink, touch your own lady. No, like. Damn, my mum was watching. That's what it's like. And they always got great teeth. Turkey. It's like. Well, 100 pounds for some teeth, yeah? <laughs> and they're just like, oh, yeah, basically, the one in Stanley, you know what I mean? I feel like we've given you the whole British experience there. But, Ashleen, yes, major please. big ups. You're smashing it at the moment. <gasps> you got your own Channel 4 sitcom, can I get it? <laughs> you got. 
You got a HBO pilot. You're smashing it, man. It's been, yeah, I've been doing, I've been like a stand up for a long time, an actor for about 17 years, and a writer for about a decade. So it feels like this year that the things are coming together. Mm -hmm. My show, This Way Up, it's on Channel 4 at 10 pm on August the 8th. And episode one comes out, but it all comes out at once online. So you can watch all the episodes. So you can get the whole box set. Yes. We've got a clip of your new sitcom here. Oh. Here it is here. Oh, awesome. <gasps> no, I, I was just saying it because I think the facilities could have been nicer, like the website shows. Yeah, I know. I mean, in fairness to Anya, when I booked her in, the website did make it look like there was a jacuzzi. Yeah. And, you know, the jacuzzi was half how I convinced her to come here in the first place. Yeah. You know, because I said, you know, at the worst, if she came, at least there'd be a jacuzzi. Yeah. And of course, you know, as it turned out, it's just a picture of um, Doug Pond. Doug Pond. Yeah. Which... Well, like I said, this is not a spa. It's a rehab facility, so... <laughs> <laughs> to me, ping pong just looks like two perverts spanking a ghost.